What's up, guys? Welcome back to Sundown Audio, unofficial YouTube channel where we show you all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes here at Sundown Audio. My name's Derek, and this is going to be a quick video. I'm just going to call it Car Audio Mythbusters. I saw something that it just got posted again over the weekend, and it hit me, and I wanted to just dive in this post. I went, you know what? I'm not. I'm just going to make a video about it. So there's this myth out there that when you run splitters, it divides your voltage in half, okay? Splitters, RCAY splitters. So let's just do a quick test. Let's just dive straight in, do a quick test, guys, and check this out. Um, Car Audio Mythbusters. Let me set this camera down. Sorry about the camera movement. It's gonna be allowed for a second. We're gonna do all this in one quick take. All right. So let me relate this to uh, something a little different to you guys. So you guys that think that when you split your RCAs, it splits voltage, do you also think that when you split your power wire, it splits voltage? You know, do you think when you run a battery terminal like so, and you do multiple runs out, does your voltage get divided in half? That would be preposterous, right? Do you think when you run multiple amps, that by splitting your power wires, all of a sudden two amps see half the voltage that one would see if you only had one in your setup? That don't make any sense, does it? So how does it make sense that by adding a simple splitter here, which as far as voltage is concerned, is just the same as splitting power wires, how does it make sense that it's gonna divide your voltage in half? Well, whatever, let's check it out. <clears throat> so I got my head unit set up. Uh, yep, make sure you can get see this on the screen. I got my head unit set up. We're just gonna be playing a quick 40 hertz tone. We got a DMM, I hope you can see it on the screen. DMM, 40 hertz tone. We're gonna read some RCA voltage. Now, um, if y'all don't know this, yeah, you can use a simple DMM and you can touch the uh, outputs from your head unit and you can check your voltage. So let me unpause my head unit. Let's touch these RCAs, see what we got. All right, we got 2.6 volts. Let me touch my other side. So this is my left and right. Touch my other side and we're sitting on 2.6 volts. Hopefully you don't see that on screen. Now, by some of these guys' logic online, when I put a splitter in line here, it's going to divide that voltage. So we should only see 1.3 volts on each one of these, right? So I'm just going to give my, my track a quick reset, make sure my 40 hertz tone to start over. We got our splitter in line here. Let's see what we got. Well, it's still 2.6 volts. Let's check the other side out. Yep, still 2.6 volts. So I don't know how you guys figure that by adding a splitter in line, I, I, I can't even fathom how this makes sense. Um, I, don't, I don't know. So all in one take, sorry guys, about a bit loud, I'm gonna move the camera. I don't know the logic y'all have of why you think something as simple as this is gonna split the voltage. That just is not how it works. All right, if you want me to do another test, I will. Put in the comments, tell me what more tests you want me to do, we'll do it right here, I'll show you. I bet you all you guys out there claiming it divides the voltage in half every time you do this, bet y'all have never tested it, because it doesn't. <clears throat> I almost can't even do this with a straight face, it's so comical. Um, so the big debate obviously is guys with huge setups. You have huge setups like I run in Project SPL. I've got eight subwoofer amplifiers and I've got a, an RCA splitter. I've got a big distribution box that splits my signal to all those and people are spazzed about, oh my God, you can't do that. The signal degradation, you're gonna cut all your voltages and whatever guys, quick video, that's not how it works. Now, I'm not gonna say there isn't some signal degradation. There very well could be. As a matter of fact, um, here we go. Another set of some splitters. 
Now, these are the Sundown Audio Y splitters. These things are very high quality. Tell y'all another little secret in car audio. Uh, a lot of RCAs that are out there, they won't tell you this. Matter of fact, they won't advertise it at all or give you any specs. But a lot of the cheap RCAs that are out there, they're made out of small, thin, crappy CCA wire. That's right, copper clad aluminum wire. They might even lie or, or try and be partially dishonest and be like, yeah, it's got copper wire, but it's not full copper. It's some kind of alloy, it's some kind of CCA. There's a lot of crappy RCA cables out there, including these I have in my hand. These are some of just those basic, cheap, generic. If I plug these in right now, we won't see 2.6 volts. But it's not because we're doing a splitter. It's because they're just crappy RCAs. That's why. So things like that, crappy RCAs, crappy Y splitters, bad connections. Um, see, I don't know if I can give you a close up here. Anyway, some of these, they'll develop corrosion on them because they're just bad. That stuff will give you voltage degradation. That stuff where you'll, you'll see some problems. But just adding a splitter, especially if you're using a quality RCA cable like Sundown, Ar Sundown Audio RCAs, it's not gonna magically divide the voltage in half. If I did eight of these, which I've done, I've actually used those same Y splitters and just split, 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 and split all the way to all eight of my amps. That's where I first hooked them all up with a bunch of Y splitters. Guess what? I still got the same voltage at every amplifier because that's how it works. The same, same way that doesn't split it, this doesn't split it. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all, that's it. I'm done. I'm out. Short video. Hopefully this helps. Uh, use quality stuff. Use quality RCAs. Use quality products. Use quality wire. Shout out Sundown Audio Wire. True OFC. This is not an alloy. It's not CCA. It is good. OFC. Oversized. It is tinned to help prevent against any corrosion or any issues that the elements, the weather are gonna cause. Awesome wire, awesome RCAs, use that stuff. I'm out guys. Hopefully you like what I'm doing here, uh, typical outro. Thumbs up if you like this video. Put in the comments if you think I'm wrong. Prove me wrong, I dare you. Tell me what you wanna see me do different to show, it. oh well you gotta do it this special way to make it cut the voltage in half. Cool, let me know in the comments. I'll come back and do it. But until next time, we will see y'all later. Like, subscribe, all that cool stuff. I'm out.